Hi guys, this is Kate at the Troubadour Rock Drive 2010, and I am sitting with the one and only Rocco DeLuca, rock star, songwriter, extraordinaire. Rocco, welcome. Thank you. And uh, how did you get involved in this rock drive? You know, I was uh, playing a thing for Chris Doritas at the Bardo. He hosts a night down there, and I met Angelique and her and her crew, and they're all such sweet people and. They had a nice cause, you know, and like I'm in the neighborhood, so I figured I might as well come down and have a fun with everybody and stuff, you know. And we, it was awesome. We were all like in the audience. So, you know, your sound, obviously, if you, any of you aren't familiar, he's, you've had hits on the radio, Colorful being a huge hit a couple of years ago with uh, The Burden, Rocco yeah. DeLuca and The Burden. And then you did a record uh, after that, right, with Daniel no Lenoir, yes. the uh, world famous YouTube um, amazing producer, Emmy Lou Harris. And uh, how did that come about? And that album is is much more introspective. And so, talk about that. Um, I guess um, when I got home from my last uh, tour with the Burden, I started playing these folk shows, and uh, Dan came to a show and. He was interested in what I was doing, and we started to become fast friends. And then um, we just started to make a record together, and it was really just that simple, you know. So was that now? Were you with the label still? I know you were with what, Ironworks, yeah. and so that's the, you went through the Ironworks and put yes. the. Yeah, I made um, the first record with Ironworks, and the second record with Ironworks and Universal Republic, and uh, and now. Uh, but I think uh, next year we'll be um, with some new like uh, partners and stuff for for the th the third record. Okay, great. So talk about that a little. You said um, when we were talking that you're kind of starting fresh or cleaning house or whatever. Yeah, just you know um, the thing the thing is sometimes with artwork it runs its course for a while you know and it's time to like kind of just just have fun and be playful and I like to always like um, be trying things and fail a bunch but but still like you know try them just the same so I think I think uh, next year I'll have a, a chance to share the stuff that I've been uh, wood shedding and experimenting with you know and what we heard tonight right a little bit of that yes yes um, there's this kind of feeling I've I've been very immersed in primitive music which is where I started you know um, and um, when I say primitive I mean of the of a elevated form, a high degree of quality primitive, like um, um, I'm really thinking a lot about like some of the masters and some of the music that had like this um, feeling of like sexual and political and social like weight with it and um, uh, so I think um, I think the story needs to be told maybe you know and and uh, I, I just like I'm enjoying that that um, process of creating uh, music of this of this kind of feeling you know and people will listen to you sometimes <laughs> and if they don't you just make it anyways you know <laughs> um, but no it's very captivating and and really um, does take you like that and you were t now what is that guitar that you were playing tonight and you were doing the slide action on that? um that was a, a 1931 um, national um, it's a sheet metal guitar and um, it just there's something really nice that happens to it over the years and again it's like a very like uh, elegant but aggressive at the same time and and it's an instrument that's been very dear to me and um, I'm really enjoying um, 
dragging that around with me wherever I go. So <laughs> what would you say um, as a songwriter, do you have any advice for the guys that, you know, are indie artists that are out here trying to do it? I think, um, I think that the landscape of music is revealing more and more every day that it's okay to just be exactly who you are, you know? Um, I would tell I would tell them that uh, the reward is in actually the c creating the music, enjoying the experience of sharing with with people, and um, if you if you can really just get into that process, the creative process, um, without worrying about any kind of weird uh, uh, external reward, I think I think you're okay for life. You're gonna be okay no matter what. You know, no matter what's cool or what's not cool but uh you know when it's you it's timeless and if you can kind of share that i think in in the songwriting and in the um the presentation of it maybe maybe you might be okay you know expectations high quality low cost <laughs> well people can see that if you're being authentic and they they gravitate towards artists who are like yeah. You know, you can't fool the kids, man. They know what's real and what's not, you know. Are you going on tour again soon? Are you writing? What's next for you? What's going on? Been writing every day. Uh, I spent time with uh, um, a few really great um, artists in Jamaica. Oh, yes, and you went there with Daniel, you were talking. And uh, Mark Howard. And, um, and uh, was up in the Blue Mountains um, working on music. And, and then I went from basically Kingston to Oakland and then from Oakland to Austin and uh, hooked up with the French Mafia down in Austin uh, speakeasies and a, an amazing place called Justine's and um, made a lot of friends and, uh, and and then back to Echo Park so it's like this all the songs I've been collecting from all these places I'll probably get a chance to share next year hopefully if everything everything like if the stars align you know <laughs> i am sure they will and we i can only imagine how cool that's gonna sound is that was that what this um nomad appearance is the the beard the oh yeah well you know this is the i kind of gave up <laughs> look on life it was funny i was on an airplane i was on an airplane and this woman she comes up she goes are you amish <laughs> and i said i said no i'm going for like walt whitman you know and she goes okay she goes okay serious about it we understand you're serious about your craft Rocco we enjoy that about you so how can we stay in touch with you website where do we keep in touch um, if it's you know I'm I'm currently figuring how to do that you know but um, there's a there's a website and uh, it's like you know like all the social networks you know you can find Rocco all just type just type in my name and then Google it hopefully current information will be available <laughs> Spoken like a true rock star. Yeah. Marvelous. Thank you, Rocco. Oh, my Thanks, gosh. Love. You're the best. Thank you very much. Guys, it's been great. Sitting with Rocco. Mercy, check out that record, the latest one with Daniel Lanois. And Rocco, Winners. now he's off to another show. We know it. We're Thanks, winners. babe. Together. We did it! Thank you, guys. <laughs> Kate, signing off for now from Songwriters Vantage, Rock Drive 2010. Bye, guys. Thank you.